you know Jesus Christ? Do you know the Lord? Philippians 3.8 says, Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord. Verse 10 says, That I may know Him, and the power of His resurrection, and the fellowship of His suffering be made comfortable to His death. Live for self, die in vain, but live for Christ and you will gain. For me to live is Christ, to die is gain. We live for Jesus. Uh, John Wesley years ago said, reach as many as you can, anywhere you can, any way you can, for as long as you can. So I've got a motorcycle here. This is uh, one of many I've had over the years. This is a gospel track about a motorcyclist. We make tracks, walk the cross for Jesus. I put my weak hand in the strong hand of Jesus and ask me to help me to reach another soul as long as I can. Time is going by. John 17, 3, Jesus said these powerful words that and this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sinned. Do you know Jesus? Years ago I was on a Harley Davidson. About 30 years ago, I believe it was. Went to this church out in the country. And there was this guy, this girl. They were in their 20s, I guess, at the time. I was in my early 30s then. And I pulled up. I had a hard head drag pipes. And I backed in. I was a member of the Christian Motorcycle Fellowship. And I got off. And they was looking at me. And I said, do you know Jesus? And she said, I'm not there yet. But it ended up, she told me that she couldn't shake that off her mind. Do you know Jesus? The Holy Spirit took that, just that little phrase, and started from there, ended up giving her life to Jesus, and then she grew in the knowledge of her Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. Do you know Jesus? I remember one time I was on another time I was on a motorcycle. I was in Roebuck. I was at this red light and I seen the guy, a homeless man, that said, Well work for food. And I thought he ought to be he ought to be ashamed, he ought to get a job. But then some teenagers rolled by and they were laughing at him. And I felt the compassion of the Lord and I said, Somebody ought to help him. And the Lord said, You help him. So I pulled over, I had a little 883 sports at that time. And I tried to get his attention. I walked over there to him. I had to walk across the street and I it was a busy intersection. And I walked right up to him, looked him in the eye, and I said, Do you know Jesus? He said, Not intimately, no. He said, I believe in God, but I don't know about Jesus. I said, Well, you can't get to God except through Jesus. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to me, cometh to the Father, but through me. And I shared the gospel with him a few minutes, and I asked him, Would you pray? He said, you pray. I said, well, will you at least pray and ask God to forgive you of your sins? He said, okay. So I prayed first. And I prayed the Holy Spirit would touch his heart. And I don't remember all the words. But when I got done, I looked at him and he started to pray. He said, Lord, forgive me of my sins. And he throwed, it, he throwed his arms up and put it like that. Tears started coming down. He said, forgive me, Jesus. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. And be my Lord and Savior. Take control of my life. On and on he went. Just crying. Tears coming down. He got done. He looked at me. He said, You made me cry when you prayed for me. He said, I could have called you all day. You wouldn't have made me cry. But you prayed for me. Made me cry. I said, It wasn't me. It was the Lord. So whatever we do, do all for Jesus. And be found in him not having my own righteousness, which isn't the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith, that I may know him, all about Jesus Christ, and the power of his resurrection, and the fellowship of his sufferings, being made comfortable unto his death. Be willing to suffer, die to your own will, die to self, and live for Jesus. You know Jesus today. Live for him. He loves you. No matter how many times he fell, call him. He'll forgive you. He'll save you. He'll give you eternal life. God bless you.